What's going on guys, Sirius here. In today's video, I'm going to be releasing my Black Ops 4 GSC compiler. Um, it's pretty much the same thing as Black Ops 3, except now you can compile for Black Ops 4. I will say that there are not gonna be any projects out there this time. Um, so for anybody who is downloading this just to get mods on Black Ops 4, um, it's probably not gonna be very useful to you until there are projects out. Now, when there are projects out, you can go ahead and follow this installation process so that you can use them, but this is mainly focused on developers who would like to create projects for Black Ops 4. That being said, I'm going to show you guys how to get set up. It's going to be the exact same installer as it is for T7, so this is basically going to be a rehash of the T7 installation tutorial. What you're going to want to do is go to the link in the description that takes you to GitHub, click on the Releases tab, then click on the Installer. And once you've got the installer downloaded, just go ahead and wait for the uh, virus scan or whatever. And ignore smart screen. And we're going to run as admin. So the screen's going to go black for a second. Okay, and once you've got this installed, you literally, or I'm sorry, once you've got this running, you literally just click install compiler. It'll do some stuff. Compiler installed successfully. Um, now, before you continue, make sure that you install Visual Studio Code. Here's another thing. When you're installing Visual Studio Code, check all of these boxes, okay? You need all of these boxes checked. If you don't have these checked, the open with code action is not going to exist in the Windows Explorer icons, okay? So as long as you have Visual Studio installed, I'm, I'm sorry, as long as you have Visual Studio Code installed, you can click Install Visual Studio Code Extension. Then you can create a default project. This time, select Black Ops 4, select, and go ahead and just put it uh, wherever you want. I'm just gonna put it in my YouTube folder here. It's gonna create a default project and open it for you. Go into here and just open up project.code workspace. And then you should have your default project here. I'm gonna make a video on the differences between Black Ops 4 and Black Ops 3 soon, but there's a lot of examples in here for developers who are interested. Um, I show off the new struct shorthanding, array shorthanding, um, the hashing, um, the end on and notify differences. So there's a lot of inf uh, code in here. Also, you can use the Black Ops 4 GSC dump that I've done. I will link that in the description as well for you. And all you're going to need to do is set up a key binding for run test task. You can go to your file preferences and keyboard shortcuts and look for run test task. And in run test task, you can just set up a key binding. I set up mine for control shift I, you can set it up for whatever you want. Once you've got that ready, you can go into your gc.conf and just take a look at this. Um, the game is T8 for Black Ops 4. And the script is going to be this injection spot. You have to change this injection spot whenever you change from multiplayer and zombies. Um, because the paths are going to be different. You can also change this to whatever you want. Now, keep in mind, this is not replacing the script. This is actually hooking this script. So you're not going to be able to overwrite scripts like this. Okay, it's only going to be hooking it. So this is really just for the, the loading spot you want. As long as you've got that all set up, you can go ahead and just press your keybind. And you're going to see that it injects, and you can just go in game. So we're really quickly just going to show that everything works, and then um, I might give you uh, a little bit of talk on the actual compiler projects. So Black Ops 4 takes a little bit longer to load than Black Ops 3, unfortunately. Also, um, there's a lot of interesting stuff with Black Ops 4, particularly for menu developers, like HUDs are just not a thing. Um, so that's why there's only really iPrint menus right now. But yeah, so we can fly around. We've got God Mode. And if we uh, aim in melee, uh, nothing happens, I guess. <laughs> oh, well. Anyway, um, that's pretty much it, guys, for those who want to get set up with the Black Ops 4 compiler. Um, just be aware, like I said, there's no HUDs in this game, so it's really only going to be useful for uh, game modes and things like that. And if you are 
uh, having issues, you can always join my Discord server. Um, in the installer, you can see there's the join Discord uh, server option. So if you're interested and you want to kind of learn, I'm also going to do tutorials on Black Ops 4 at some point. Um, they're going to be after my Black Ops 3 tutorials, so it might not be for a while, but I will do tutorials on Black Ops 4 GSC scripting because there's a lot of changes here. Um, and that's pretty much it, guys. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Hopefully you enjoy the new release, and uh, I will see you guys later. Peace.